Hello and welcome. Uh, thank you, Crystal, for sending in these samples. Peter has asked me to take a look at these and see if we can get some Forever Laser Dark or some Forever Flex Off working with these. And uh, we've got seven different types of leather here. We've got some thin leather, we've got some soft leather, hard leather, thick leather. Um, I don't really know what type of leathers they are. We've even got some flame proof leather with uh, number six and seven here. Uh, but we're going to be pressing all of them with Forever Laser Dark and Forever Flex Off. Uh, we're going to be using my swing arm heat press at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, and uh, like I said, uh, flex off we're going to be using is this metallic gold color here. And the Forever Laser Dark, uh, I've used some white toner with the Ghost White Toner uh, from the M254 and M452DW uh, that I have here. Um, so um, what we're going to do is put them inside our heat press. I'm putting down a sample uh, one of each on here and then putting over a sheet of parchment paper and then we're going to press it for 30 seconds at 300 degrees Fahrenheit and then we're going to peel it cold and this is going to allow uh, the adhesive um, you know to transfer over and we're going to let it cool down and peel it so that it sticks to the leather and then you know peel it off and then do a finishing press for about 10 seconds and then make sure it's like pressed nice and firmly down in there and hopefully it'll work so let's go ahead and do our first peel and you know already i can tell you you want to make sure it's like very cold to the touch because i did it just a little warm here and i had a few things stick to the top but uh, i'll show you a little bit more about that later um so you can see there's kind of an outline around here that's a little weird um let's go ahead and peel off this gold one hmm all right so yeah so you can kind of see like how some of the gold around the edges stuck to it and just like how some of the release liner from up top kind of stuck to that um, and this is a softer leather uh, and you can really see the imprint from the edge of the paper um, too so you know unless you're going to be doing some type of design work to cover that up I don't really see this being a viable thing uh, let me try a finishing press real quick before I say anything and again 300 degrees Fahrenheit 10 seconds with a sheet of parchment paper uh, and when you do this, like say with the normal uh, t-shirt, it's going to remove uh, some of the gloss and you know, hopefully it'll do that and maybe it'll remove some of the uh, indentions that we put in there uh, when we pressed it. So peel it off and now uh, we've still got some of the gloss on there, some of the gold and you can still see the indentions. Of course I'm stupid and it's hot, it's 300 degrees Fahrenheit, um, but yeah. so. As you can see, you know, leather number one, it's kind of soft and thin. It didn't really work too well. Um, so let's go ahead and, you know, move on to the next one. You know, after I guess I touch it and look at it for a bit. <clears throat> so with the second one, I went ahead and pressed it. And you can see the heat from it really changed the look at it. I also had a lot of moisture escape from this one. Um, but you know, it really changed the look of the leather and I'd say it kind of made it look a lot more worn. Um, so, and this is leather number two. So let's go ahead and start the peel here. Of course you want to make sure it's nice and cool, um, cool to the touch. And you know, this one had a lot of moisture, so I, oh yeah. Let me try peeling from the other end. It's a little bit cooler on this side too. I should have waited till it was like cold, cold, cold to the touch. So yeah, you see how my adhesive didn't stick there at the end. Um, you know, this is probably due to how hot it was uh, when I was doing it and then how much moisture. Like I even had some of the release liner stick in between this. Yeah. So I wasn't too sure about this. So I went back and I, uh, I did another press on this uh, just to make sure. Uh, I wasn't messing anything up and let it cool down but like I said you know there's a lot of moisture inside this and it really damages the leather so I think that has a lot to do with not allowing the adhesive to really bond and stick so there we go cool it down of course you know I paused it and then sped it up so yeah you can see I didn't get a complete transfer there either next let's move on to this brown leather uh, this one, you know, I thought it would do better because it was harder, but I had the entire 
uh, release liner transfer over on the Forever Laser Dark, and I had a lot of the gold on the Flex Soft transfer over. So I couldn't really recommend using this. Uh, even when I did the finishing press, it didn't help. Uh, plus side, this leather smelled fantastic when I put it in my heat press though. So yeah, so I went ahead and pressed the other ones because I had lost hope. Four did well. The transfer was amazing. A little bit of pressure in there, but I burnt the back of it. Same thing with five. Burnt the back of it. A little bit of pressure on there, but I got an amazing transfer. So the hard leather works fine. Again, you want to make sure it's like cool to the touch. Um, because you'll you know, see I had the edges come up. But uh, moving on, let's go to the flame retardant stuff. This stuff worked great. It smelled really weird, but it worked great. You can see the indention in there clearly. But, uh, you know, it worked good. Move on to number six, because I did seven first there. And I wanted to do something big, do a big transfer just to see if it worked. And it worked just fine. Um, you know, flex off, everything worked good. Let's take a closer look. You can see the indentions and everything inside each of them. So if you wanted to do it, it could work, but uh, you know you might have to get crafty because the edge of the paper gets pushed into there. And there even are some papers that do work with uh, leather a little bit better, uh, like the Multitrans, I'm sorry, not the Multitrans, but the Parapy Hard Surface 2 that works with the leather. Um, I'm going to try that in the future, but uh, this is what I'm expecting for all of them because you're going to push something and down into it, and you're going to have those marks. So unless you're going to be ready to deal with that, uh, I don't really suggest uh, you using this. Again, it works better on the harder leather than softer, but um, you know, that's uh, just something you're going to have to do with it. So for this video, I use the uh, Ghost printers, the M452DW and the 254. Uh, with the Ghost White Toner, I use the Forever Laser Dark pay, um, paper and then my 15 by 15 heat press. So I mean, this can work with UniNet, Oki, any of that, but um, you know, this is what's going to happen when you do that. I was using medium to high pressure like the paper requires, and that's just what happens. If you have any questions, you know, feel free to contact me or Peter at uh, sales at uscutter.com, or if you have some support questions, send them in to support at uscutter.com. Take care and have a wonderful day.